Maester Eamon presides over the choosing of the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He allows people to speak for their candidates before the voting begins. When Sam asks to speak and is mocked by Janos Slint, Sam reveals that he had found Janos hiding in a cellar during the Battle of Castle Black. As Sam continues to humiliate Lord Janos to the delight of many Black Brothers, Maester Eamon smiles at his steward's boldness. When all of the votes are counted, it is revealed that there is a tie between Jon Snow and Sir Alice of Thorne. Eamon is the last to vote and breaks the tie by voting for Jon. Jon Snow notices Maester Eamon's absence when he presides over his first meeting of the Night's Watch as Lord Commander and questions Sam. According to Sam, Eamon does not feel well and apologizes for not being able to attend. Jon tells Sam to take good care of the old Maester. Sam reads him a letter from Slaver's Bay detailing the recent activities of Daenerys Targaryen, Aemon's great-niece. In spite of his dedication to his vows, Aemon muses with sadness at the injustice of Daenerys fighting her battles alone, with her last relation, useless and dying, thousands of miles away. Jon Snow then arrives, asking for Aemon's advice on a plan he's been devising. Jon asks how he's feeling and Eamon sardonically points out he feels like a hundred-year-old man slowly freezing to death at the wall. Eamon bluntly tells him to, kill the boy, and let the man be born, that Snow must make mature decisions that will save lives in spite of the unpopularity and dissent they will bring. Eamon's old age catches up to him and he takes to bed as he grows weaker, tended by Gilly and Sam. His mind starts to wander, and he imagines conversations with his late brother, Egg, before he passes away. Sam later gives a eulogy as Eamon's body is cremated on a funeral pyre.